Hey good people, welcome to Russ Can Fly. It's time to finally f do this last leg and get Charlie home. Let's go! Oh my God, Russ Can Fly! So this is it. Um, I'm taxiing from the FBO here in Big Sandy Airport in kentucky and as you can see i was so excited that this was so the last the leg i was going to fly before we got to doylestown that i forgot to do an intro <laughs> so this is the first ever intro that i've done as a voiceover and you know some of these explanations but but at any rate i still can't believe that the next time the wheels touch pavement it will be in my airplane's home airport. And that is just so amazing to me. This whole trip has been phenomenal. I've really gotten the, you know, the opportunity to get to know this airplane, to feel its characteristics, um, and to really appreciate its cross country capabilities. So we're gonna pull on up here to the whole short line. I've got some run up to do, and I'll see you on the other side of that. Time to fly. All right. I don't see anybody, so yep. let's do it. Big Sandy traffic, November 1541. Charlie departing runway three out to the uh, out, out to the northeast. Big Sandy. First thing to go, the rain. All right, all traffic on the idle. All traffic on the runway. All right, on center line, hills to the floor, full power. All right, uh, it's amazing, there you go. The right roller is necessary. All right, all instruments in the green, full temp, full pressure. Airspeed is coming alive. Yep. It's gonna take a while here for the takeoff. We're on an uphill. Alright, right rather. There you go. The thing I really appreciated with Orlando being my instructor during this flight is he really let me get an opportunity to get a feel for the airplane without automatically reaching for the controls. That gave me a lot of confidence that I was really getting the feel myself to the flight characteristics, rotation, all of that. Very nice. I'm gonna put it. And big sandy traffic. Piper 1541 Charlie. Make him a uh, right crosswind turn out to the northeast. Last call, big sandy. Yeah, let's go now. Okay. Let's try to go now to the left. There you go. All right. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna switch it to approach. Approach, Piper 1541 Charlie. Piper 1541 Charlie, Huntington approach, Huntington altimeter 3000. 3000, Piper Cherokee 235, slant golf, November 1541 Charlie, uh, at 2000, almost 3000, climbing 7500. Looking for VFR flight following to Delta, Delta Yankee Lima. And as you can see, I'm a little rusty on this whole flight following business. It's been a minute, but you know, I was ready to jump right on into it. I couldn't believe that I was actually asking for flight following to Doylestown and that that was going to be our last stop. It has been such an amazing journey, and I couldn't believe that, you know, this little aircraft was going to get us from Texas to basically outside Philadelphia. Absolutely amazing. Number 1541 Charlie, is that the uh, P-28 uh, Bravo that you're in, and say your requested altitude, or correction, say you're on course heading to Delta Yankee Lima. 071. So the request they're heading is 071, and uh, it's a P-828 Bravo. Now there's a couple of really interesting things that just happened during that exchange. One, 
my camera facing us died so I heard that thing beeping but of course I'm not paying any attention so whatever but two he asked me about whether or not this was the PA 28 Bravo I had no idea what the heck he was talking about because I didn't realize that this Piper Cherokee is also known as a PA 28 Bravo but what's really curious is every now and then we would get asked or be told that we were a Piper Dakota. So I don't know, this is gonna be real confusing and I'm gonna have to get used to this whole, how is this airplane described? Typically a Piper Cherokee 180, no problem, but as soon as they start talking about 235, it's a PA 28 Bravo, but some people confuse that with a Piper Dakota. I don't know. It's going to take a while for the dust to settle on that one. All right. You want to put the autopilot in? Yeah. All right. So now, they're going to put the vertical spin to approximately, what, 500, right? And autopilot. Okay. Boom. And that's the other great thing about flying with Orlando back to Doylestown in this airplane. is just getting used to the autopilot and all these other functions. Um, and, you know, just so that when I start flying this plane on my own, I'm able to, you know, handle the avionics. Um, that little <laughs> autopilot box down there looks simple, but really it is complete Greek to me because I've never used one before. November 4-1, Charlie Squawk 4005. 4005 for 4-1, Charlie. Well, since I've done that. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. They just ask you for the on-course heading because he's not familiar with the airport. Yeah, yeah. That you're going. Which makes sense. Yeah, I mean. Number 41 Charlie, radar contact, eight miles northeast of the Big Sandy Airport. Uh, say out, see leaving. Currently leaving uh, 3,900 for 4,000 for 41 Charlie. As you can see, I'm really rusty on my ATC calls and I have nobody but myself to blame for that. I should have been flying a little bit more using flight following when I was doing some of my flights with little Sammy. So now I'm kind of stumbling a bit. But some of it has to do with the fact too that I'm flying in an airplane that I'm still getting used to and it is quite demanding from the standpoint that it has a lot of sophisticated equipment in it that I have never seen before. So I'll get there, but yeah, there is so many things going through my mind, so much to learn, but it's awesome. I don't think we will be able to climb that high. On approach 1541 Charlie, we're gonna stay here at 5,500 for uh, maintaining BFR. Number 41 Charlie, roger, maintain BFR 5,500. Then it'll be a far 5500, thank you. All right. You can reduce the power a little bit to like 20, 20, uh, yeah, 25. Then I'm going to start doing the mixture. November 4-1, Charlie, contact Charleston approach, 124.1, good day. 24.1 for Charleston approach for 41, Charlie. Good day, thank you for your help. All right. Charleston approach, November 1541, Charlie, 5500. Turkey 1541, one, Charlie, Charleston approach, altimeter 299er. Nine, nine, Triple niner, 441, Charlie. Okay, so we are now on our way to Doylestown. Let me do this uh, cruise checklist. Actually, we can turn off our taxi landing light. Pump is off. Our PMs are there. We're leaning where we need to be. On the proper tank on the right and left main. Be there for an hour. Alright, so this is the <laughs> last leg of a pretty epic journey from 
South Texas, Smithsonian, Texas, Eagle's Nest, where Charlie was located, to Doylestown. And, um, yeah. So we're just, uh, flying on out. And it's gonna be kind of surreal to be landing at Doylestown with my own airplane! <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna settle in uh, just like I did before once we get to uh, about 50 nautical miles outside of Doylestown. I'll come back to you. But I just want to pay attention to what's happening uh, with the airplane and you know, continuing to learn and observe what Charlie does and all the fun stuff like that. So I'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Zero Echo has yep. the right. Echo Roger. Yeah. Good. Gonna go over to the left tip. Yep. Left tip, I feel the descent. Yep. Number two, Echo Mike, kind of filled up your approach on uh, one, two, actually stand by. Good. Good. So I've seen this issue of a wine coming through before in other YouTube videos. Basically what happens is if you plug in a power source into the panel and straight into a camera, I think you get this whining interference from the alternator of the airplane itself. And so there's a way to filter that. I'm probably not gonna get into all of that. The best thing to do is to use an alternate power source. Um, and so in the previous iterations of this flight where you saw that I wasn't getting the wine, I hadn't plugged the camera directly into the power sources of the airplane. I'm gonna be mindful to not do that in the future going forward. Approach November 1541 Charlie, press the center 5,500. November 5141 Charlie, altitude pilot discretion. Altitude my discretion, 41 Charlie, thank you. All right, so. Uh -huh. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I was just so, one of these days. Yeah, so remember, you have to tell him first what where to do, okay. where, where, where you want to go, oh. and then how you want to go down. There you go. And, and you're climbing there. There you go. 500 feet per minute. Beautiful. Alright, so we're about 60 miles south of believe it or not. And a lot of communication now. Uh, but believe it or not, <laughs> I actually see Doyle South on the GPS and on my uh, number like 29 contact. I can't wait. So, Over to 4.8. Yeah, so, uh, come on. 329, actually, before you go, stand by. That is too much landing and all that. Good number stuff. number uh, 41 Charlie, contact Philadelphia Approach 128.4. 28.4 for 4-1 Charlie. Thank you for your help. See ya. Alright. 437 to send a main 6,000. Can we approach November 1541 Charlie? 3,500. For 1541 Charlie, Philly, the Altimeter 2995. 95 Charlie. Hearing the broadcast that we could now switch to the Philadelphia approach uh, frequency, man, at that point, I'm like, wow, this is real. I am in this airplane. It is going to be mine, and when we land, it's not going back. And I, you know, you can see I'm just there's this look of kind of befuddlement on my face as we kind of bounce around a little bit. But yeah, I mean, this is when it got really real. Like, wow, this airplane is now mine. Number one five four one uh, Charlie contact Philly one two three point eight. One two three point eight four four one Charlie. November one five four one Charlie two thousand five hundred. November one five four one Charlie Philly approach the Philadelphia altimeter two nine or nine or five. Nine or five for four one Charlie. Left main in the descent for the left main. No pressure is still good. And the pump is gonna come off. Pressure looks good. All right, ride that tank on in here. 
10 clear approach, November 154 Mike Charlie, that's the building site. 154 Mike Charlie, Roger. Radar starts coming in, it's blocked via fire, change to visor, bring us approved. All right, stop via fire, change to um, advisor frequencies approved. Thank you for your help. 154 Mike Charlie. Good day. So you got a couple things you can look at here from Jonestown. You got like a little reservoir and then there's a lake up there, Lake Nakamixon. Okay. Uh, so, uh, code is behind you, uh, Roger. Head to Sound Traffic, Piper, November 1541, Charlie, about 11 southwest of the field, inbound, on Lake 5, North Town. Got a little bit to the left. Hope we're going to see the airport and then we're going to see somebody doing as one plane in the barn. That's the lake that you were from Right? Yeah. Like, right off our nose. See these, like, red things up here. That's downtown. That's right there. See, like, a big darker green and then there's a lighter green right there. Okay. And I'm actually going to do the left face. And then I need a pattern. I see, I see somebody on vinyl right now. Okay. Uh, let me do it right. I'm going to uh, yeah, I mean, there is no rush. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is no way possible. I will take you to, to the airport. Right off our nose. Yeah. And so it sounds fantastic. Piper, November 1541, Charlie 5, west of the field. I'm going to enter a 45. We're left down on one way 5, no sound. And so it sounds fantastic. My Charlie, left down on one way 5, no sound. And so it sounds traffic over 617, Fox Golf. We're taking early 5 for a left close, both now. Okay, Doyle Town traffic, 4-1 Charlie, turning left base from way 5, Doyle Town. I'm up still. We're going to take home some power. They're coming a little bit fast. Okay, Doyle Town traffic, Cessna 4-1 Charlie, Piper 4-1 Charlie, final 5 feet of departing traffic, Doyle Town. So I can't believe we're finally here. And this is going to be my first <laughs> landing at Doyle's Town with Charlie. Let's get it. So I came in with a little too much speed um, and a little too high, and that seemed to be a theme in this flight. You know, coming in hot and high. So got to just get better with practice. So it's all traffic. Piper one five four one Charlie clear from week five. Out. All right, good people. We're here, and Charlie is in her new home. I can't tell you how incredible this whole couple days have been it's been incredible i still am like completely overwhelmed i really am i think it's going to take me about a month to process everything that's just it's so crazy so i gotta get orlando down to the airport and um so we got some things we need to do so i can't talk too long and i'm exhausted I'm sure he's tired, so I want to get him squared away. But yeah, she is back there. We made it from Texas, from South Texas to here to Doylestown. So it's crazy. So it's official, y'all. I'm an airplane owner. Russ can fly. Russ has an airplane. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. So many things are coming. I'm telling you, it's going to be doing deep dives on all the numbers. If you haven't joined membership yet, you want to do that because that's where I'm going to go really deep into this whole airplane buying experience. And so you're not going to want to miss any of that. So, all right, any of that. So for any rate, Ruskin, Ruskin, fly, I'm out. Peace.